Loki. I think you need to get off, buddy. Hey. <laughs> oh my gosh, how can you say no to him? Well, no. this is just an example of how hard it is to puzzle with kitties. Oh gosh. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Casual Puzzler. My name is Emily. We are continuing on with Disney Week. I have been loving this series so much. If you've missed some, I'll leave it down below or the playlist down below so you can check them out. If you are a Disney fan, you would know that these ears are actually the wallpaper for the Haunted Mansion. I love these ears, this is one of my favorites, and I thought it'd be appropriate to wear these while I... I thought it would be appropriate to be wearing these ears while I do this puzzle, which is from the Haunted Mansion set. I don't know what it's, I think it's called just the Haunted Mansion. Now, if you've been to Disney and on the ride, you guys know these are the different characters in the stretching room. And these are four different puzzles. I picked this one up in the Disney parks, but I believe you can find it online. Online, it's a bit more expensive. In the parks, I can use my discount. So I spent around, I wanna say $32. It may be available on their website still. I'll see if I can link it down below. If not, we're just gonna go into this really fun puzzle. Now again, there are four panels here. I'm only going to do one on camera. I have already done one, so I already know my experience with it. Um, but we are going to be doing this little lady over here. And then this one, again, I've already done. So let me show you what that one looks like. This is the first one that I did, which is this guy. I'm sure he has a name, um, but it's the guy who's on the dynamite with the candlestick. The puzzle itself is only 10 inches wide, and then it's just like a traditional puzzle length, which makes it look like it was like stretched out. And then if you look at the puzzle pieces, they're super skinny and long. So it just looks like everything is just like stretched out, which is really fun. Um, and then all the pieces are matte. So let's just go into the puzzle that I will be doing. So Dave found a little article about these little characters. So they do actually all have rooms. So we have Constance Hatchaway and then her fifth husband that she murdered. His name is George Hightower. Then over here we have Alexander Nitrokoff who was blown up by dynamite. The three men in the quicksand, we have gamblers known as Hobbs, Big Hobbs, and Skinny Hobbs. And then the one that I will be doing today is this woman here, and her name is Sally Slater, who was killed by an alligator. So those are all the characters, and we're going to do Sally over here. Inside the box, we have them all in little bags. They are not Ziplocs, so you'll have to like put them in Ziplocs afterwards to keep them all separate. But we are going to be doing Sally, which I'm pretty sure is this one. They are completely matte, and I will say the coloring isn't the best. I feel like they're quite on the dull side, and I have a lot of thoughts already on the puzzle pieces because I've already done one of these puzzles, so I'll leave that towards the end, but let's just go into the puzzle. So I did a quick sort. It wasn't like super thorough because this is like pieces that I really didn't want to go through at the moment. Um, really don't have the patience right now to sort pieces. But we have over here just like blue pieces. I have edges. This is the tightrope. We have the umbrella. And then I started putting together the girl or Sally. Um, and I think I'm just gonna leave these pieces as is when I was doing the other puzzle, this one here. It's kind of nice just like sorting through the pieces as I was going. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, but I will at least start the edges and then continuing on with probably Sally.
Well, uh, this took a little turn. Loki says, I'm done. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Oh. See, the difference between Oliver and Loki is Oliver doesn't really sit on the puzzle too much. Loki lays on the puzzle and then he rolls. So he makes everything move and stretch and break apart, which is not good for a puzzle that has very loose pieces. All right, I am back. I finished the puzzle and they are really fun to do, but they are a lot more challenging than I was expecting. So these pieces are super loose, which is really frustrating when you have huge chunks of gray or huge chunks of blue and you are trying to figure out how they go together. And there are some times, there were several times where a piece was completely surrounded and it fit perfectly, but it wasn't actually the piece and it was a little frustrating but I worked my way through it. I would say the dynamite puzzle was definitely harder than the girl. The girl there's a lot more going for it. There's a lot of different colors and textures that I could go by but the gray one was extremely challenging because again multiple pieces could fit together and be completely wrong. There's one t section that was like completely in the wrong like like a whole section was in the wrong place and then I realized that if I disconnected a few pieces and moved it over it actually made more sense and was the correct way to do it so it was probably one of the looser fits that I have discovered so far on my channel. Uh, you can't really move more than two pieces together or it just like crumbles. It's a very crumbly puzzle. Um, but I did enjoy doing them. I mean, they are a fun Disney puzzle to do and you do get four in the box, which is really fun. The colors are pretty dull, um, but they are matte pieces. So it's nice that I can do it with an overhead light on top and it not really affecting the image at all. So I liked it, but I didn't like it at the same time. It's totally up to you of what you think of these, if whether or not you're gonna purchase them. But for me, I don't know if I would recommend them. Although you do get four puzzles in the box, but I got a discount. So I say for the price that I paid, where I paid like around $32, $34, I do think it's worth it because I do have four puzzles. But if you were paying like the $45 to $50 price tag that I sometimes see online for this same exact puzzle, I'm not quite sure. I mean, I know it still breaks down to being pretty reasonable per puzzle, but it's... I feel like there's better brands out there, but they're Disney. I don't know. What do you think? Um, they are really fun. I like that they have like the narrow, I like that they are narrow widths because it looks like they are stretched um, and the piece shape was interesting. I just have mixed feelings, but I did have fun doing this. I will continue doing the other two eventually, um, but stay tuned for tomorrow for another Disney video. Again, I hope you are liking these. If you missed any, I'll leave my playlist down below. But that's it for me. I will see you guys soon. Bye guys.